In today's episode, we're gonna show you what we do with all the scrap lumber, and we're sitting on a lot of timber out here, and we're gonna discuss exactly what we do with that and how we use it. We'll be right back. Hey, welcome back to Southern Oregon Safari. And we're the Buffalo Roam. I'm Jerry. I'm Hayden. And today's episode, we're going to be working with a, he's going to be working with a wood miser. Kind of introduce yeah, us an kind of overview of his wood miser and what you do with all that timber you're harvesting off of your land. Yeah, so Jerry, basically, you know, we're on 700 acres out here. We don't use much of it, but it's all timber land. There's a tremendous amount of, uh, we've got Madrone out here. We've got Manzanita, we've got Oak. The oak out here is scrub oak, so it's not the most fantastic wood. Uh, but we got a lot of different types of uh, conifers and stuff. We have uh, cedar, which is great red cedar, beautiful western red cedar. Uh, we have ponderosa pine, sugar pine, uh, and what am I missing? Uh, I think there's a couple other species. We're not going to go on all of them, but th there's a lot of good, beautiful wood out here. And so one of the things that I like to, you know, I know most people come to this channel for the animals, but I like to really point out the beauty and the and, and of what we do here. It's not just about the animals. I mean, we try to use everything for the animals, but we try to build and repurpose and reuse and recycle. And this wood mill has been a great help for that here on the ranch. Hey, uh, show us real quick on uh, uh, sawing up a log there. Yeah, and we're I... gonna go and we'll show just kind of, we'll just do a, a test run. Okay. And just show you how this machine works. Okay. And, and then we we'll do... come back and discuss more about it. Cool. So, here we go. Okay. All right, we're back. So we just did a little test uh, cut on the on the log. Uh, Jerry was, was filming me. I used a kind of a just some. Uh, I, it's not the best wood in the world. This is just like a yellow pine. It's uh, probably ponderosa. So it's not really a high quality wood. It's a softer wood, uh, not most real desirable. But what's really interesting, Jerry, is when we we're cutting it, it's got some of that blue tinge to it. So it's blue pine. And, and people go, well, what the heck is blue pine? Well, it's beautiful. It's beautiful wood. It's uh, just recently become a trend where people want blue pine all of a sudden. I never knew anything about it. I actually used to throw it away and burn it when I didn't use it because it was a soft wood and it doesn't do well in the weather, uh, unless you really paint it heavily or put it indoors where the sun and the weather can't get to it. But some guy I ran into was selling these planks, two by 12 planks, 12 foot long, for seven, $800 for, for that pine. So this was a test log that we just threw on there. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Uh, and I'm finding, wow, that, that log actually has, and blue pine, from what I understand, is a, it's a fungus of some sort that turns the, blue, the, uh, the wood a light blue on the interior of the wood. So you cut it, you get a nice plank, especially with a live edge, which live edge means it's not dimensional lumber. You leave the live edge of the wood, the rounded edge. People just go crazy for tables, especially fireplace mantles. So. A little bit of blue pine. Good, to, good to cool. Know. Yeah. I, I've been harvesting a lot of timber off of my property lately too, and I have my sights on a wood miser I'll be it's purchasing here in the next tool. year or two. Great tool. Bring it in, but I'm letting my timber age right yeah. now. Yeah, Maybe want... I'll get a boatload of blue pine. And it's all about the, the drying and all that. And I mean, there's a lot, I'm learning. I'm, I'm no professional when it comes to cutting wood, folks. But uh, what we have done is you'll see, we'll go and look at, we did a, um, we have a bird aviary that is built off this ranch, off the timber off this ranch using the wood mill. A lot of it is live edge because we like the look of it. Um, there's the duck house or the quack house. And that thing, we did a board and bat on the building itself and we recycled and repurposed as much material as we could. For instance, like the window on that building uh, came from Rehome, 
which is a uh, part of uh, Habitat for Humanity. Oh, the Restore. The Restore. I That's why I said there. Rehome. I'm sorry, Restore. Yeah, I it's shop great. There. I get I get I love recycling, yeah. upcycling, repurposing. We do That's here? what my channel's all about. Pine Meadows Hobby Farm. Exactly. And so we also uh, there's a auction site uh, I think that's called repurpose maybe oh uh, and they sell different things so i bought a lot of insulation foam insulation board off of them and like Ooh, the, good to know. the duck house has got foam insulation that came from that's been reused oh nice. um so we try to do that we like to board and bat stuff we like the rat live edge it's just really beautiful and when we go see the bird aviary and stuff and the duck house you'll see what i'm talking about um so it's all about repurposing reusing keeping it natural uh we love it that's what we do here well let's go see them let's check it out so here we are, Jerry. This is the uh, bird aviary that I told you about. We actually, Beautiful work. Yes, I, I can't take the credit for it. Uh, I, I helped cut a lot of the wood, but I didn't actually put it together, so I don't want anybody to get misrepresentation. Uh, we had a guy that was amazing that built this thing, but this thing's almost 10 years old now. Wow. And it's still, I mean, we haven't even stained it or anything, but it's all this western red cedar, and we use a lot of live edge. I can smell that. Yeah, yeah. Still. And it smells good, it still oh. smells great. And uh, even the shake shingles. Yeah. We, we cut off the wood mill and, and, and made shingles. What's it's nice about cedar is it's uh, durable, it lasts forever. And it doesn't care about the sun and the rain. The Woods House down on uh, Crater Lake Highway has been there forever and it's yeah. made, it made out of cedar, yep. it doesn't rot. Yep. It's also a great insect repellent yep. and you don't want to use cedar shavings in the beds of your yep. pets. Yep. Not good. Uh, your mice, your guinea pigs, your rats, please don't use cedar shavings in there, that will kill them. It causes their organs to start shutting no, down. Respiratory it's issues. Bad, yeah. bad, really bad. Really I put cedar shavings in my garden as a compost and it really helps keep the critters out of the garden. Now this acid, uh, the acidicness of the shavings is not causing any issues with the plants? Uh, not the acid living, loving plants. Okay, and I imagine once it starts breaking down, it's probably harmless anyway. Probably yes. The pH level probably in the soil will probably break down. Yeah, and I got pH testers for that too, so yeah, I'm on top, of it. on top of it. Yeah. <laughs> But anyway, so yeah, this thing has been sitting here forever. It still smells like cedar, and this red cedar is amazing. <clears throat> you know, none of this is really old growth cedar. If you can find old growth cedar, the really big beasts of trees, the heartwood is ten times stronger than this. But oh, anyway, so yeah, is. this is the uh, the bird aviary. We're gonna go inside of it and see what's inside of here. So stay tuned for that. That will be the next episode. We're gonna introduce you to some. What are they called? East African crown cranes. Ooh, sounds pretty. And yeah. I've already seen them. They are pretty. They're stay cool tuned for birds. that. All right. Stay tuned. Anyway, this is uh, Southern Oregon Safari. And we're the Buffalo Roam. I'm Jerry. I'm Hayden. Stay tuned for the new adventures. Please subscribe. We'll see you guys at our new adventure. We're looking forward to it.